Hello, today I am going to talk to you about garbage collection in Japan. So when I was in Sydney, there were three main rubbish collections. One was for general rubbish, and that was collected once a week. There was a recycling bin for all the paper, plastic, metal and glass, all in the same bin. And that was collected once every two weeks in my area. And every other week was for vegetation, which is things like your tree trimmings, your um, dead grass, and things from your garden you want to throw away. If you had bigger items, you could request for the council to come and collect that. I think twice a year we could do that for free, and that was when we had the chance to throw away big furniture and things that won't fit in our regular garbage collection. Since coming to Japan, I've had to learn to sort my rubbish more thoroughly. I think I have the sorting down packed, but I still can't remember when exactly I'm meant to throw away what. So to help me, Tori has written it all out on a piece of paper. Rubbish is collected four times a week in my area. Monday and Friday is for burnable garbage, which is this one here for all your food scraps and stuff. Uh, spray cans, which I don't use. Dry cell batteries, which I sometimes use and non burnable garbage, glass, ceramics, light bulbs. And that's this bag here. So I've got my glass jars and my glass bottles, but I'm actually not done yet. There's still bits and pieces that I still have to sort. I'm not sure how thoroughly people actually do this, but I always try to be as good as possible because if I know I'm helping the environment a little bit, then it's worth it. So. The good thing about Japanese packaging is they have on the label um, symbols that you to help you sort your rubbish. So for example, this one says the cap is Puda, which is the, this one here for your plastics. The label is meant to go in the paper recycling and the jar itself is for glass. So yeah, I still have a little bit to do. Tuesday, plastic containers and packaging, that's this one here. So like I said, I'm always looking out for the symbol PUDA, so if I see that, super easy, I just know it goes in here. And lastly, Saturday is for everything else. Your cans, bottles, and PET bottles, which is this stuff. Small metal items, which is in this bag, with all my um, metal things. Paper. You're meant to tie up your paper collection with a string, but I find it easier to just put it into a bag or, or as you can see, I'm accumulating a lot in a box, so it's just easy when it's Saturday, I can just throw the whole thing out. And lastly, old cloth. So usually I don't have many cloth items to throw away, but this time I have some old socks in here. And if you want to throw away old clothes or towels, then that's the day to do it. If you have anything else that you want to throw away, you do. There is a fee um, in Japan that you have to pay for each item that you want to throw away. So it's not like in Sydney where two times a year you can call up and throw everything away. Um, if you so say you want to throw away a, a piece of furniture, then depending on how the size and the weight, I think you have to call up and they will tell you how much you have to pay for them to come and pick it up. Alternatively, you could, I guess, sell your items on secondhand groups, but for me, I, I would find that too, um, too troublesome. So that's why I'm always putting in so much thought into what exactly I need before I buy it. Okay, so that's rubbish sorting in Japan.